traveling all over Connecticut. Now we're here in Pomfret. We've been here many times before and have discovered some great places. But we've heard about this cool place called the Stomping Ground. This place grew out of the love of art and music from two people from this area who love this community. And they wanted to bring to this community art, music, great food, great drink, and they have. So we're here to discover it at Connecticut Perspective TV, find out about the musical acts they have, the artwork, and of course, sample the food at the Stomping Ground here in Putnam. So get your kids from Route 66, yeah. Thank you, Jim, for uh, coming to Stomping Ground. Welcome to my kitchen. Good to see you. All Good right, I'm going to show you how to do a popper real quick. This is uh, one of the favorites we have here. Actually, it's probably my favorite thing to do here. All right, so I have my jalapeno. I got it out, and I'm going to take my cream cheese. I'm going to stuff it up real nice. I'm going to take the bacon, take it from the bottom, bring it up to the top, wrap it around, and there we go. It's very good with the uh, aioli Dip as well. some of that aioli yep. in there. Yep. That is awesome, Ben. Yeah. You're going to make some Thank more you. stuff for us to try too, right? Oh, of course, of course. I got plenty of things in the menu. So. Good stuff. All right, Thank you very good. Mm. All right. <laughs> really good. Jim, welcome to the Stomping Ground. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I'm Terry, and this is my wife and partner, Sarah. Nice to meet you as well, Sarah. It's a really cool place you have here. It's, what's the vision when you created the Stomping Ground? I'm a musician, and she's an artist, and we really wanted to follow what our, our joy was in life. We wanted to have a live music venue where people could come in and see something that was unusual. It wasn't the same run-of-the-mill bands that you see all the time. If we were going to have good music, we wanted to be able to provide good food and drink as well. We eat well, and we wanted to bring that to the community in an affordable way. I also see a lot of art all over this incredible restaurant. Tell us about the fact that you have so much art. Is it local artists? All of the art on the walls are from local artists. They're all, it's all for sale. We rotate all of it. You know, there's no televisions here. The idea is that people come in and they enjoy some culture. You get good food that's affordable. You get artwork that's, that changes often. It's something new to look at. You get bands. We have bands that come from all over the world at this point. We've had local Connecticut bands. We've had bands from California. We get folks that, that come down from Toronto. I've had musicians from Scotland and Germany and England. What was your vision for the menu? We wanted to offer local and, whenever possible, organic ingredients in a manner that was easy, affordable, not too pretentious. Uh, we wanted something that, that fit the laid back atmosphere. And what I also like is the fact that some of the items on the menu are named after popular musicians and singers, kind of eclectic there. Tell us about that. Right, performers and musicians. Um, some of it's with the Neil tongue Young, the Sinatra. The, the <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, David Byrne, yeah. Um, just all kind of tongue-in-cheek. What do we have in front of us? Start with this guy. What's this? This is the Neil Young. This is a bur uh, burrito wrap with house brined and roasted chicken, uh, apples, applewood smoked bacon, uh, cheddar cheese and duck sauce. It sounds like an unusual combination, but the sweet and savory go really, really well together. And you make these pickles here? The pickles are house made, yep. They're kind of a sweet and spicy pickle. That is delicious. This is one of our most popular items on the menu, actually. I love that. How about this? Are these scalloped potatoes? It's uh, actually, we call it the Billy Bragg, and it is local ground beef. The beef comes from We Like It Farms right over in Pomfret um, with a, a, a cheesy be bechamel sauce. Uh, scalloped potatoes, baby spinach, and then a, a cheddar cheese over the top. That, yeah, I've never had anything like that. It's great, especially on a cold winter day or on a rainy day. It's a real, real comfort food, satisfying thing. And then you've got this really cool looking salad here. So this is our quiet corner cob. It's, uh, you know, traditional cob salad with, again, our, our roasted and brined ch uh, chicken breast. Uh, you know, just a, a lot of fresh ingredients, romaine le lettuce, uh, fresh avocado, fresh cherry tomatoes, a cranberry vinaigrette sauce, house made, yep, made that from scratch, from fresh cranberries as well. Uh, and uh, avocado, uh, caramelized onions, uh, applewood smoked bacon, uh, and uh, romaine lettuce. Wow. This is a popular seller too, it's huh? It's a very popular item, yes. There's a lot of heaven in this bite. The salad's honestly one of my favorite items. On it's a really satisfying meal. Uh, it's filling without being too heavy. That is a winner. This combination right here is like. <laughs> so congratulations, job well done, and continued success. 
Thank you. What do we have here? Uh, you have a Midnight Oil Oatmeal Stout from Beard Brewing Company in North Stonington, Connecticut. It's a local, local. Beer. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Best to you both. Thank you again. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Welcome. From Chicago so get your kids you know what's really great about a place like this? The fact that they are bringing music and art and great food and great drink together. It's a real communal experience, and that's what they wanted to do here at the Stomping Ground. Bring everybody together to a place where you can really have self-expression, where you can be yourself and have a good time and enjoy the arts, as well as incredible food, right here on Main Street in Putnam. I loved it, but that's my perspective. Connecticut, what's your perspective? Come to the Stomping Ground right here on Main Street in Putnam and check it out. I think you'll love it.